Thanks for checking out our video on how to install the MS3 Pro plug and play into the 1999 to 2004 Ford Mustang. In general, this process should take about an hour or less. Um, and it really comes down to just removing your factory ECU, installing ours in its place, routing a vacuum line through the firewall, and making it uh, accessible to get to the tuning cable. And that's it. Um, it's not a difficult process, but we're going to go into great detail here and cover every step. Alright, so let's get started. Pop your hood and disconnect your negative battery terminal. Next, remove the passenger side door sill by gently lifting upward from the rocker at the front and working backwards. Remove the retaining clip that holds the kick panel in place and then remove the kick panel and set both aside for safekeeping. Now with the kick panel removed, gently disconnect the three factory connectors by pressing the retention clips and pulling on the connector bodies, not the wires. Use caution as these clips can be fragile. Next, pull the carpet back and locate the ground lug under the wiring you just unplugged. With an 8mm socket, disconnect that and push it off to the side. To remove the black bracket that is holding the connector bodies in place, you'll do this by removing the two 7mm bolts that are holding it to the chassis. One here and the other up here. Once you've removed those, set them aside safely and you can push the bracket and connectors out of the way to expose the ECU. Next, loosen the 10 millimeter bolt that secures the ECU connector to the ECU. As you loosen this, you'll notice the connector backs out of the ECU itself. And now you can remove the 55 millimeter bolt from the white plastic bracket just to the right of the ECU connector. Be really careful not to drop that into the kick panel. Ask me how I know. And now you're ready to remove the factory harness from the ECU and then you can remove the ECU from the vehicle. This is probably the trickiest part of this entire installation and it's really not that bad. So let me see if I can demystify it for you a little bit. Alright, so if you look back behind the hoses and wiring at the firewall where we're trying to shine this flashlight here, I'm going to show you where you can pass the vacuum line through to get it to the map sensor on your MSPNP ECU. There is a square or a rectangular hole that surrounds the AC condenser hard lines that pass through the firewall. And that's a picture of a screwdriver poking through from the inside out into the engine compartment. The yellow line there indicates where you could cut a slit to uh, secure that hose and keep it from chafing against the edge. So go ahead and push two or three feet of that vacuum line into the passenger compartment through that square hole and then slide it into the slot you've cut in the foam to protect it from chafing. And I apologize the shot's a little out of focus but you can see the finished product here. Right, so just above where you passed that hose through the firewall you'll see this two-way fitting that was there from the factory. You pull that out and replace it with the three-way fitting that comes with your MSPMP ECU and then you will connect the map sensor line that you just passed through the firewall. Make sure all of these connections are tight and if you need to you can secure each of them with a small zip tie. Now back inside the car reach up behind the dash and find the hose that you poked through the firewall and pull it through. Alright, so now you're getting ready to permanently mount your MS3 Pro plug and play in the kick panel. First you want to connect the tune cable that comes with the kit though using the M8 connection. Line up the pins and thread it on snugly. You'll never need to remove this. And then you're going to take the other end and poke it up behind the glove box and with your other hand, reach over the top, grab it, pull it down, and that way you'll be able to coil this cord up in your glove box and use that anytime you need to connect to the ECU. If you need a USB adapter for your laptop, we recommend our USB 2920. Alright, so last thing before you install this in the kick panel, if you're intending to use the options connector, you're going to want to go ahead and install that now with the wires in it that you plan to use so that you can route those out of the kick panel and connect them to whatever you need to control.
And now it's time to insert your MS3 Pro ECU up into the kick panel into its uh, home where the factory ECU used to sit. And you're going to want to connect the vacuum line that you pass through the firewall to the map sensor barb just to the right of the ECU connector there. Um, and route that hose out of the way where it won't get pinched um, by you know passenger putting pressure on the floorboard when you're uh, in the middle of a turn or anything like that. Alright so pay attention in this step because this goes back together slightly differently than it came apart just to avoid that uh, map sensor barb on the ECU. So the screw originally came out of the top hole. We're going to have you use the bottom hole on this bracket and line it up with the hole in the chassis. And the rest of this goes back together pretty much just as a reverse of how you took it apart. So you're going to reinsert the factory ECU connector and use a 10 millimeter ratchet to uh, secure it to the ECU, being careful not to over tighten it. Next you will reattach the black bracket that holds the harnesses in place with the two 7 millimeter bolts and tighten those down snug. Alright, now you're going to reconnect the three wiring harness connectors here. You'll feel them all snap into place. And then line up the slot on the tab and the screw for the ground and use an 8mm socket to reattach that firmly to the vehicle. Alright, so it's time to put it all back together. Start with the carpet and then put the kick panel cover into position and use the factory retaining pin to hold it in place and then you can snap the door sill plate back in place and finally reattach your negative battery cable to the battery alright so that completes the physical installation of your MS3 Pro plug and play for your 99 to 2004 Mustang uh, the process will be pretty much the same for 96 to 98s as well when we release that model. At this point, please uh, check out the next video in this series, which covers base configuration for injector size, base timing, throttle position sensor, that kind of thing. Just everything you need to, to do before you fire it up and dial it into perfection. You can find a link to that video in the notes below. <laughs>